A disturbing discovery in Del Mar. Officers with Humane Society have removed hundreds of rats from inside a van. A woman was also living inside that van. And in an interesting turn of events, the community is now rallying around her. News 8's Amanda Shotsky is live at the Humane Society tonight with the details. Amanda? 158 rats are here at the San Diego Humane Society and they are available for adoption. Now officials say the woman who owned them started with just two, but things got out of hand. Now people who know her are stepping in and trying to help her with a fundraiser to get out of tough times. This after a video of the rat infested van circulated on a social media page. It's hard to look at. A van parked in Del Mar filled with more than 300 rats. The owner living inside, too. The van was completely um, taken over by the rats. The Humane Society was notified after people saw and smelled the rodents at the parking lot on Via de la Valle. The van broken down, wires eaten away. She was providing for them. It was just an overwhelming situation. The sanitation obviously was... Um, not good. While some called it an eyesore, others saw a cry for help, starting a GoFundMe page for the van's owner, a woman named Carla, who works at a nearby Circle K. Residents say she simply has fallen on tough times. I just love her. She's, she's a great person. I just wanted to see what I could do to help. The page has already raised more than $4,000. Someone even donated a used car as Carla's van had to be towed away. She wants to make changes. She wants to better herself, and she's so grateful. The rats have been taken to several Humane Society locations and checked. They appear to be in good health, and nearly 200 are up for adoption. Officials say while they make good pets in pairs, they encourage potential owners to learn from this story. They breed so quickly that it's not surprising that it could get out of control. And if you are interested in adopting those rats, again, they are available at the San Diego Humane Society. If you'd like to find out more about the GoFundMe page, you can go to our website, thecwsandiego.com. Back to you. Nice to see the community stepping up to help her. Thanks, Amanda.